Hi, I'm Felicia and welcome to the drawing class. Grab your pencils because today we are drawing a dinosaur. What I love about these dinosaurs is that they're all going to turn out different. So don't worry if right from the start, your dinosaur looks a little bit different than mine. It's okay. They're all gonna turn out great and it's gonna be really fun to draw. So let's start with the back of the dinosaur. Now the back is a really, really large bump. So you're going to make a hill in the middle of your paper that goes up and comes down. However pointy or flat your hill ends up is perfectly fine. That's gonna be the uniqueness of your dinosaur. Now on the right side, we're gonna curve this, at the very end of this hill, we're gonna curve it back up and make the top of the head. You can make your neck as short or as long as you'd like. So put the head wherever you'd like it to be. All you'd have to do is make this curve really short if you want a short head. You can kind of see where my pencil is coming or make this neck even longer and make a small head up here way up at the top of your paper. You decide what you want your dinosaur to be. For today, I'll stick somewhere in the middle. Great, now let's finish out the head. You're gonna come to the very end of your curve. Now it should have curved back around and come down a little bit, just like mine here. You're gonna come in from the edge and make a line that comes out. So now you've got like a, a tease, right? You've got one line that comes down, one line that comes out. This is your nose. So as long as you'd like your nose to be, make this line that long. Do you want a long alligator snout or a short, small lizard snout? So you decide. Mine's gonna be about this long. You can decide how long you want your snout to be. When you've decided that and you've finished drawing your line, you're gonna curve it down and we're going to make part of a rectangle. So however long this ended up, curve it down just a little and then draw that line back in. And then we'll make the bottom jaw of your dinosaur by coming just a little ways in from the very tip of the snout. So you can see where my pencil is, right? About here. And you're just going to make the bottom jawline of that dinosaur. It curves down a little bit and comes in. Great, now before we make the neck, let's make the tail. So we'll go back over here to the bottom of this hill on the other side, on the left side, and you can make this tail however you'd like to. You can make it really curly, really long and straight, you decide. You're gonna start at the tip of that, of the back, right? This is the back of the dinosaur. It's just going to continue out and make that tail shape that you've decided on. Then curve the tip of it in a little bit. And that's about all you need to do. Just curve the tip of the tail in a little bit for now. And when you're done with that, we're gonna go back and make the neck. The neck of your dinosaur is going to start in from the jawline, somewhere about here. We don't want the neck to be too thin, otherwise it'll feel like the dinosaur's head's gonna fall off, which wouldn't be that great. So let's start in, or let's start away from the edge of that jawline, and we're going to make a slight S curve. Okay, it's gonna curve in a little bit and curve out a lot. So you can see that this kind of makes a very, very loose S. We make a lot of these in art. So you're going to want to get really used to making these types of shapes. It, it does look like an S, but it's very less curvy. It's a very flat S here. Okay, now we can connect the bottom of the dinosaur and we're gonna make the tummy of the dinosaur, but the trick is, and this is maybe the trickiest part of the dinosaur, is to connect here to here with one smooth line. 
Sometimes I like to do a little bit on each side and work my way toward the center to make it seem as smooth and natural as possible. So that's what I'll do today. But however you can connect the tip of your tail to the end of your neck in a smooth way. Okay, there we go. So I've got the smooth bottom tummy of, um, of the dinosaur today. Now we just have to draw the legs. Now the legs can be tricky only because if you, if you notice how the bottom of this dinosaur comes down further than back here on the tail, it can be really hard to draw legs where they look like they'd actually be walking on the grass or the ground. So let's give our brain and our eyes a little bit, a bit of a break and draw that ground first. So whether you wanna draw grass or just a line, we're gonna make the ground of our dinosaur. Whatever you want that to be and wherever you want that to be, somewhere floating underneath your dinosaur. Now we want space because this is how long the legs are going to be. If you want really long legs, put your ground further down on your paper. If you want shorter legs, draw it closer. But right now we've got this rough, straight line coming on the bottom of our paper somewhere to represent the ground. Now that's gonna make it a lot easier for us to know how long these legs need to be to make sure they're all touching the ground. Okay, so we'll draw the front legs first. All we need to do is start, at, start where you think your front legs would be. I think they'd be about here and draw two lines that are fairly thick, fairly wide. You want nice wide legs to support this heavy dinosaur. And they're gonna go all the way down to the ground and then connect. They can be a little lower than the ground too to make it look like it's standing on the ground. That'd be fine. And you'll notice that my lines come up above the tummy line just a little bit. Now the leg behind that is actually gonna start right on that tummy line and it's gonna come down and stop right on that ground line. So it's a tiny bit shorter, but it's not actually shorter. We draw it that way because it's further back from us. It's further away from where we're seeing this dinosaur and thus it looks a little bit smaller and shorter. That's kind of how perspective works. Okay, so now we've got our back leg, our front leg. Now let's do the rear legs. Now wherever you think your rear legs should be, we're gonna do the same thing as we did the front legs starting a little bit above where that tummy line is, making two nice thick lines that come down and connect at the bottom a tiny bit lower than your ground line. And then the leg that's behind that is just going to peek out again the same exact way we did that front one and connect right on that ground line. So now all our legs are even. Now that you've done this, and pause any time you need to, remember, just in case I'm working a little too fast, take your eraser and erase the line only on the leg that's closest to us. So the front and rear legs here, we're gonna erase just this little part of the line. That's what's going to make it look like this Dinosaurs all connected and one large drawing, one large piece. Notice you still left the tummy line that went across the top of the other leg that's, in, that's behind the front one. We only erased what was in here. Okay, and if you also had 
some of that ground line showing within your front feet, you can go ahead and erase that as well. Awesome job. Your dinosaur is probably looking totally different than mine and I love that. I'm so excited. So let's draw the eyes. One eye is going to be on that nose line that we drew and the next one will be to the left of it. Just make sure that they're about the same size and then you can add a tiny highlight circle to each eye and make sure that you leave that tiny circle white and the rest of it you can color in nice and dark. You can curve up that smile line if you want your dinosaur to be more smiling and then also add a nostril. This could be a line or a circle or an oval or a triangle. You decide what kind of nostril your dinosaur has. Okay, now there's a couple ways you can decorate this dinosaur to make it look even cooler. So this is the basic outline. Let's head to the bonus tips and I'll show you a few options to get your ideas really flowing. Now all your dinosaurs are going to look different. It's going to look different than mine and you're definitely going to want to be creative and make your own interesting dinosaur. So just a couple of things you could do. You can put spikes on the back of its tail or its head. You can add spots, stripes, or plates down the back. So I'm going to add just a few triangular plates that go down the back side of this dinosaur. Again, you don't have to do this. You make your dinosaur look exactly the way you want. I'm just giving you ideas. And then I'm gonna add some toenails. You can do this as well if you'd like to. Just little M or a triple M on the front side, kind of like an elephant. And then I think I'll add some spots. You decorate your dinosaur however you'd like to. Okay, once you've figured out all the details and you've made your dinosaur look exactly the way you wanted it to, you could also add teeth or sharp claws. Honestly, your, your imagination is the limit, so you do it however you'd like. I know they're going to turn out great. Pause here, finish coloring in your dinosaur, and then I'll meet you at the end. I just love how unique and creative this dinosaur is. Whether you drew your snout really long or your neck really short, long legs, short legs, or whatever your dinosaur looks like, I'm sure it's great. The neat thing is your dinosaur isn't going to look like anybody else's. And that's part of the fun of art is making your style and your ideas come to life on the page. Well, I hope you keep practicing. And if you want to practice with me again, Click on the next video and I'll see you next time.